So they finally said the truth, that Israel is routinely torturing inmates, that sexual abuse is fairly common there, that people have been tortured to death. Worst of all, many of the people in this facility were innocent, rounded up by accident, but there was no real verification process before they were subject to this hell on earth. This can't go on. So it says, she said, uh, they say, uh, they're not just uh, sexually assaulting them. They're sexually assaulting them to death. Israel is intentionally massing, R-wording, innocent Palestinian people to death. And the entire Western media and political, and political is ensuring that they can do it. And this is laundering them as detailed in the thread. So there was uh, a, a faction, not a faction, but more of a, a, a division between two parts of the IDF or IOF, if you would like to call them the Israel Occupation Forces, that are actually against one another. And their disagreement with one another is essentially is essentially whether or not sexual assault is okay. You heard me correctly. So we're going to go into this because I think it, you guys, this is wild. So let me grab this video here. Um, let me see, got it. You see, I had it here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Oh, wait. I remember. I have it here. <laughs> All right. Let me share the screen. And this is from the cradle. It says breaking. It says confrontations erupt between Israeli military police and Israeli soldiers at the Sedi uh, Timan detention facility in the Negev desert, responsible for torturing and abusing many Palestinian detainees abducted from Gaza after military police raided the site. Hebrew website Hashadot. Basman said the police raided to investigate a torture for fun case that involved the sexual assault of Palestinian prisoner, causing him a severe rectal injury. The prisoner had to be transferred to a hospital and his condition remains unknown. According to report, 10 soldiers were taken in for questioning. So here is the video here. <laughs> Oh, they are arguing with each other over sexually assaulting prisoners. Um, this is, is this the most moral army in the world? Wow. Is that what this is? That's fucking... Because uh, I'm looking at this. <laughs> כבר לחקירה, הם כבר לא איתנו פה, אני לא רואה אותם פה. כל הצוות שלי, 
בוא נמי, תן לי שם. תן לי רגע This is something that I think that a lot of people aren't aware of. And then people will say, well, you know, Israel is doing this just to protect themselves. And it's like, well, what protection is there? You know, and the argument, and the argument of people being able to whether or not if they could sexually assault somebody. That is wild. That is uh, yeah, let's go here. Um, this also here is this is from uh, Khaleesi says Israel is headed towards a civil war over the right of its military. Words says yes, that's right. They are protesting over the right of yeah. their prison officers to be able to sexually assault. Let's take a look here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So essentially it's, you know, Oh, if they sexually assaulted somebody, then it should be okay. And then others are saying, no, it is not okay. Yeah, it's never okay. Like, what the heck? Yeah. It's not defending them. What's, what are they defending? Like, it's... Yeah, it's like once the person is detained, like, what are you defending against? Right. Right. You know, uh, there's another one here. Uh, this is the outside of what's been going on. I thought sexual assault was uh, universally agreed as a bad thing. I thought so too. <laughs> My goodness, man. I mean, what 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 did the whole Me Too thing happen like? Yeah. You know, I, I, I thought and, and, and it wasn't just, you know, because whenever we talk about sexual assault, everybody automatically goes to the victim being female, which uh, nine times out of 10, it, it typically is, you know, which is, you know, bad. But the sexual assault that, you know, that sparked all this was against a male Palestinian. A male Palestinian. So, mm -mm. you know, it's like, what are we sitting here? Are what, what is there to argue? Um, what is there to debate over? You know, and it just doesn't make any sense. Um, here is a video from Hotspot that I want to share with you guys. Uh, this is out of the Israeli Knesset, and. When people talk about how, when we talk about Zionists, this is the type of people that we're referring about. Uh, this is from Hotspot. It says, Israel Knesset discussing the hard-pressed issues their government faces. Is it okay to sexually assault prisoners with a metal rod? What? Wow. I don't know, but there is a 
החיילים ש... בשדה תימן, מתקן מעצר של מחבלי נוח'בה, ומשטרה צבאית שם הגיעה לעצור אה, כמה לוחמים שם, שכנראה בגלל אה, איזה שהם טענות אה, של יחס למחבלי נוח'בה, ויש שם אירוע של התבצרות וכולי. הטרלול שהמדינה שלנו נכנסת אליו סביב הסיפור הזה הוא מטורף, צריך להפסיק אותו. ואני חושב שצריך פה לתת דוגמה אישית, ואני אומר עכשיו, ואני קורא לחברי הקואליציה לעשות כמוני, אני קם, ואני יוצא מפה, ואני לא הולך להצביע יותר על שום דבר, עד שהסיפור הזה והטרלול הזה, שיש מי שבפרקליטות חושב שאפשר לבוא ולעצור חיילים על דברים שעושים למחבלי נוח'בה, לא נגמר. אוקיי? ואני מאוד מבקש, ואני חושב שחבריי בקואליציה טוב יעשו, אם יעשו כמוני. אנחנו לא יכולים. להמשיך כרגיל. להכניס מקל לרקטום של בן אדם, זה לגיטימי? כן, אם הוא נוח'בה הכל לגיטימי לעשות לו. אוקיי, אז... הכל. אוקיי. Hold up, wait a minute. This dude, nah. this cue ball headed terrorist just said that it was okay. This guy right here on the right, who's pointing, says yes, it is okay to commit sexual assault. This <sighs> popular. Oh my gosh. They want us to keep thinking they're good guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, let's continue. Okay. 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 Wow. This is Netanyahu's Abu Ghraib. Yeah. Totally. Hmm. This is Netanyahu's Abu Ghraib. And it... It is, it, you know, and there's a lot of people that are going to be outraged about this story and, you know, decidedly so, because you are literally committing assault against Palestinian people who many of them who are in prison are that are detained by the IDF are detained because they're Palestinian, not because they actually did anything wrong. Exactly. Yep. And, and remember, I did a story about this uh, a couple of months ago, how a lot of Palestinians are, were being detained who were not any type of Palestinian resistance. They weren't Hamas. And they're literally being detained and tortured in prison. Just and now you have them being yeah. sexually assaulted. And some of these Palestinians that are being tortured in prison are, are, are men, women, and even children. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Children. Yeah. And so, it, mind you, uh, Arabs make, 20%, make up 20% of the Israeli population, but they're over 50% of the prison population in Israel. What does that sound like? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so let me share this, and then I'll get into the article. This is from Zay Squirrel. Great account. If you guys aren't following Zay Squirrel, you guys need to. It says, breaking. An influential fanatical Zionist propagandist has just come out and admitted that Israel is engaged in actual systematic mass sexual assault of Palestinians and that they do it to those they know who are innocent. He admits he was lied to by his own government, media, and friends. Let's read the actual tweet. Uh, this is from Shael uh, Ben Ephraim. says, I feel stupid and ashamed. In May, an expose came out on CNN detailing the abuses in Sede Tiamen. Then the New York Times released their own article about it. I even talked about it on this, on this channel, guys, so you guys can see that as well. I talked about it. It says, both were backed up with Israeli sources 
crossed with Palestinian ones. I dismissed them because my government sources and Israeli media denied them. My whole life I was told the international media was out to get Israel, that they all were anti-Semites. But today I realize how much I was lied to by my country, by my friends, by my media. Today, many of the people I talked to who denied these allegations admitted that they were true. And the worst part, none of this is coming to light because the IDF and government have changed their hearts about it. It's coming now because the pressure from the UK, the ICC and the ICJ was getting too great to ignore. This would get Netanyahu Gallant and chief of staff in serious trouble. So they finally said the truth that Israel is routinely torturing inmates, that sexual abuse is fairly common there, that people have been tortured to death. Worst of all, many of the people in this facility were innocent, rounded up by accident, but there was no real verification process before they were subject to this hell on earth. This can't go on. So it says, she said, uh, they say, uh, they're not just uh, sexually assaulting them. They're sexually assaulting them to death. Israel is intentionally massing our wording, innocent Palestinian people to death and the entire Western media and political and political is ensuring that they can do it. And this is laundering them as detailed in the thread. So this is basically the receipts that they are actually committing this. And so for the people in the chat, I'm sharing this link because anybody who keeps talking about what Israel has a right to defend itself, does Israel have a right to sexually assault its prisoners? No. And this is all happening before October 7th too. Like this has been yes. going on. Been going on, yeah. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Um, let me also share this article. Because I, I got some choice words for Ben Gavir. I got some choice words for that monster. So this is from the Israel Times. I'm sorry, Times of Israel. It says, military police raid IDF detention facility, nine held over serious abuse of a detainee. It says, heated argument erupts at SD Tiamen as investigators take nine suspects for questioning after terrorist suspect was brought to a hospital with signs of sexual abuse. So, it basically going over, you know, the nine uh, one, uh, suspects that were taken in. Uh, and says the, uh, uh, says the investigation was launched after the Detained terror suspect was brought from the base to the hospital with signs of serious abuse, including to his anus. Uh, it continues. It says National Security Minister Itamar ben Gavir condemned the soldiers' arrests and other members of his far-right Atma Yehudit party announced that they were headed to the facility in southern Israel to protest the soldiers' detention. So Ben Gavir is mad that soldiers who essentially sexually assaulted a prisoner are being held in prison. They're being detained. He does not like that they're being detained. This is who Ben Gavir is. It says the spectacle of military police coming to arrest our best heroes at SDE Tiamen is nothing less than shameful. That's from Ben Gavir. It says far right politicians later urged supporters to come and protest at the detention facility, which the soldiers have been taken. A number of far right lawmakers and activists, including uh, MKZV, Sakat of the ultra nationalist religious Zionist party, broke into the base amid their angry protests outside. In a video film at the base, Sakad declared that we cannot investigate the soldiers until we investigate those who failed to prevent October 7th. Taking up the megaphone, he told press to protesters, we have no other army. This is an important demonstration. Let's go outside and not fight with the soldiers. 
So they are literally like outside protesting that they should be able to commit sexual assault. Mm. And they're calling them heroic warriors for <laughs> rape. Wow. That's crazy. It's crazy. Just So this is basically what's happening uh, according to the most moral army in the world. Right. <laughs> And I responded to somebody who says something really horrific. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it. But this person says something horrible. Um, here it is. They kept it up. The, hang on. Okay. So the video I showed, um, it was also shared by Owen Jones. And Owen Jones had this to say. He says, Israeli citizens are riding in support of the right of soldiers to sexually assault Palestinians. What do you even say at this point? What do you even say? Right? So let's go to, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's scroll down to this guy. This guy, uh, Bashar Ali, says the depths of Zionist depravity knows no limit. Conceived, born, raised, exported, funded, armed, politically and military defended governments from uh, from the EU, Britain, and America. Right? This guy, uh, Keenan Nitrell, said this. He said, it's technically not rape if the woman is a non-Jew. What? What? God is pretty clear about this. It is still what? a month time, but should be understandable after October 7th. <sighs> oh, Lord. These are Zionists. Zionists, yep, to the core. These are Zionists. Zionists. Y'all want to know what I said? What'd you say? I said, they also rape Palestinian men. You're sick. This is the kind of reasoning they used against my enslaved ancestors in the United States. Shame on you. Because look, let, you know, I, I can safely assume, Andre, that, that you are uh, a black man, right? Yeah. And when learning about our ancestors, uh, you know, whether it was here or whether it was in the rest of the diaspora, our ancestors were sexually assaulted, both male and female. Let's be real. You're right. And it was excused with, oh, they're not really human beings, so therefore it's okay. Yep. One A for human. Yep. That's the reasoning of Zionists. Mm -hmm. And so this is why Many of us are looking at Zionists and the, the, the occupation of Israel and what they're doing, and we look at them with eyes of contempt because this is literally a Holocaust in real time, and we've been saying it from the mountaintops, and people look at us and go, you're anti-Semitic. Yeah, that, that doesn't scare us anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. There's it tactics. It's not working. Yep. Because that's what Nazis said about Jewish people. Yeah, exactly. That they weren't human. And now we're seeing what's happening right now and like live. How could you do that? And so now they're warring with each other over it? That's just, that's bizarre. Yeah, that... <laughs> this is why independent media is so important. Because how many people, how much has MSNBC, Fox News, News Nation, CNN, CBS, ABC, how, how many of them have actually said this is a bombshell? This is a bombshell story that should go out everywhere. 
Should be and how many people are going to be too afraid to touch it because they don't want to be called anti-Semitic? The thing is, is like Zionism and Judaism are not the same. Exactly. Yeah. You don't, they don't say, that's why we need more independent media. You don't see it like on my local news, they always say Israel Hamas war or like other news stations. They don't say that there's like a literal Holocaust that's happening right now. That's why we need more independent media. Yeah. And the problem is, is that, you know, when it comes to, in fact, this is even better. In fact, when it comes to what's going on, you know, and people conflate Zionism and Judaism, you're really erasing the Jewish people that will not stand for this type of depravity. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna give you an example of Jews who do not stand for this type of horror. Jewish Voices for Peace, they are a wonderful group. If you guys do not follow them, I recommend that you follow them. Jewish Voices for Peace, these are Jewish people who are actually standing against Zionism. It says, believe Palestinians. As the Israeli military wages a genocidal war in Gaza, its soldiers are no longer hiding their abhorrent abuse from public eye. And Palestinians are rightfully pointing out these atrocious practices that have been used for decades. Mm -hmm. Sexual violence and torture are tools of all repressive regimes to try to punish and destroy the spirit of anyone who challenges their opposition. The Israeli military is able to commit atrocities like this because of the world is allowing it. While our government intentionally looks the other way, we refuse to. We will not be silent until there's weapons embargo and a permanent ceasefire. Until the genocide of Palestinians end, until Palestine is free. So this is talking about uh, Dr. Yara Harari, says uh, a, an Israeli MK, member of Politan, from the Lukid Netanyahu's party, stated that it is legitimate to sexually assault Palestinian detainees in Israeli prisons. These are not fringe politicians. These are from the ruling party whose leader was given a hero's welcome in the U.S. Congress a few days ago. And then Bayan says, you're shocked. Israelis are sexually assaulting Palestinian hostages. I am shocked. You're just learning that. Israelis have been sexually assaulting Palestinians for the past 76 years. There's an endless number of testimonies that have been submitted over the years of Israel's across the law. These are from Jewish people speaking out. Yeah. Against yeah. 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 So I just want to get your initial thoughts about this story. I mean, I know it is horrible, but does this really... I want to be wrong about stuff like this. You know, Tyler President, let me go through first. I, I, I want to be wrong about this, but, you know, but we, unfortunately, we're right when we call out Israel. Yeah, and it's been happening before October 7th, and they can't keep saying anti-Semitic, anti-Semitic, using those tactics. It's not going to work. Like, we're seeing, like, babies being murdered every single day now uh, the sexual the sexual assault that's hap that's been happening for decades they're they're not the moral army like there's nothing they could say anymore to try to to try to change our minds yeah and, and andre i mean the you know the the failure i wouldn't even call it failure it is purposeful neglect of the corporate media to point this out it's just, you know, it's it's atrocious, man. Like yeah. you, you know, this is why I, I said before we went on stream that we need more of us in independent media, you know, so we can bring all this out. Yeah, it, it just please continue on with that thought. Yeah, man. Um, you see, they they are trying to ban. Well, they going to ban TikTok, um, because the young people, the young generation, are seeing this live. You see what I'm saying? And um. Uh, like you know, me and Ty Peasant. That's why we decide to do this um, to go to make the ATP network to spread spread the truth. Because what you get on Fox News and CNN, it just lies. Propaganda. You know, that works. Yeah, propaganda. You. And you know, um, yeah, it, 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 see, seeing that story today, JB, it, it sickens me. That's why I've been so quiet. Because you know, um, I know this has been going on, but 
just to see a civil war over SA? <laughs> that's, like, that's so I bizarre. You kidding me. You know, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's sickening, and this is why people are camping out at colleges. This is why people are marching in the streets. Yeah, we need more of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, we need a general strike. We need the boycotts to continue and intensify. You know, BDS is not even as strong as it should be. It should be even stronger. No, I agree. Yeah. That's true. Yep. So that's what's going on in Israel. Please keep speaking out about what's going on in Palestine. Talk about this story because this shows the depravity of Zionism and why we need to get rid of settler colonialism across the board. Because once we get rid of settler colonialism, we save the world. Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And I deeply appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. If you wish to support the channel further so I can keep bringing you content that is educational and informative, you can become a patron on patreon.com forward slash jvfon. You can find that link in the pinned comment or in the description below. No matter what you give, you'll be supporting independent media and education that helps make the world better. Thank you so much. And you can watch more of my content here. Mwah. Forehead kisses and have a beautiful day.